Okay, the, uh, now we're going to look at the, the edit page section. We're going to carry out the activities in the edit page section of the item management chapter. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of the edit, edit functionality is more complicated than the, than the others, uh, than the view page, the list page. You'll see here uh, essentially what it's going to look like when the user tries to edit a news item. We'll go to a, a web page that looks like that. And let's go ahead. There's some explanation which you should be reading. All of this stuff you need to read. And uh, let's come down here. I'm not going to go through the ideas very much. So basically, we need to modify the news item DAO. So we we're using the news item DAO to uh, to retrieve the the state of an individual news item or a list of all news items. So what we need to do at this point is to allow another a function in there, which is to um, to to modify a news item. So oh, not the servlet. So I'm in the wrong place. I'm talking here. Should be in the news item uh, DAO. And uh, so as you can see, we have read. The read is used by find all and find. And it's only used by those two. But what we're going to do is add um, this uh, update function. And I'm going to clean that up. Just control shift F. And uh, the update, we pass in a news item with a new state. And we say we, we invoke update. We say we want this news item to be uh, written out to the database, essentially. All right, so that's done. Now we need to modify the deployment descriptor. We need an edit servlet. Let's go out and do that. Close that. Go into the uh, web XML file. And let's save that. Okay, that's done. Let's uh, let's create the uh, edit news item servlet. There you go into here. Right click on that new class. Edit news item servlet. Got to take off that blank right there. This is HTTP no. servlet, which is right there. Save that. And we have all of the code here we need, so let's go ahead and do that. Quite a bit. That's a big chunk of code. That is one big chunk of code. We even have this static method down here. Uh, which is called validate and once again this needs to be you need to study this and uh, read what I have to say about it in the book but we can just uh, paste that in there I'm just showing what needs to be done and let's create the uh, the JSP it's called edit news item dot JSP let's go in there and create that new and that's a file paste it in there finish and we have the um, the contents of that file right here paste it in there close it we're ready to test that was fast and let's go ahead. Once again, we need to stop, start, let's, uh, check the message, and now test. Here we're on Fox News. Let me go back to this. This is this should be CNN News or CNN. Let's go ahead and modify that. It says hi. I'm going to hit edit. 
This should be CNN. What's that? Was the original state? And I hit submit. There it is. We changed the title. We go back to list news items. Here it is. So we have um, completed the activities in the edit page section of the item management chapter.